Um, it's time to shame Addison Ray. Go Let's for it. Go. <laughs> Do you see this? I'm I'm shaming. Okay. I'm shaming you. Addison Ray was hit with criticism for wearing a blasphemous bikini in a new ad campaign. <laughs> Uh, this was a collaboration between Adidas and a smaller brand called Praying, which uh, Here, here's the, the smaller the smaller brand is basically all like blasphemous uh, swimwear and clothing. So it is on screen just at, for a minute. OK, the, 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 you've got your image. <laughs> yes. So the persons of the uh, Trinity are the <laughs> printed <laughs> on the bikini in all three, three triangles. There you go. You know, I knew you'd love this one. Tasteful. Honestly, <laughs> it sucks because Addison Ray is a beautiful woman who could easily do an ad campaign for bikinis without blaspheming the Lord, but she did because she doesn't probably because she doesn't know better. Um, How old is Addison Ray? Twenty. She's like six. She didn't. I think she's like in her mid twenties. But she, did she grow up religious? Do you know? Uh, all I know is that she grew up in the South, okay. might have been that. nominally Christian, but uh, I was surprised that she received criticism for this because often it's just a uh, blanket acceptable to disrespect Christianity, to trash it in any way you please at this point. Yeah. Um, as far as I know, she hasn't apologized and... That's I, I believe why, I think it's kind of just considered acceptable now to blaspheme Christianity. But if it had been any other religion that were offended by this, then the or internet would movement. be on fire. Yeah. Like she would have already apologized profusely and deleted it. Mm -hmm. But because it's Christianity, it's kind of just overlooked. Yeah so weird to me you're right if it was any other religion if it was judaism can you imagine oh my gosh well, if it was islam fire. especially oh gosh, yeah especially yeah. that's actual physical those. danger we're yeah, talking you'd be in serious trouble but like this also like calls to mind how people think uh there's this old guard like this waspy elite this authority that no longer oh, yeah. no no longer holds the reins it, like of, that, of like that authority like of, of Christianity. Like well, of, in America, at least, like Protestant Christian old white men, that uh, era is long gone. I love yeah. what, like that's one of those like whenever I'm okay. Whenever I'm talking to people who are not what you'd consider like politically initiated or aware of just what's going on in the world, one of the easiest ways to tell is when they when they talk about like uh, like the the pervasive nature of Judeo Christian values in America uh, as a stronghold on our moral compass. And yes. I'm like, that, I'm like, what year do you think it is? That's not. And then they create new ways to transgress against the thunder is so loud, There's so loud. Can, you, can you guys hear you guys the thunder <laughs> i need to know if the Super people in the chat can, can hear the thunder. can you hear the thunder they yeah. they manufacture new ways to transgress against this old guard of authority of like waspy like anglo-saxon protestants they want to push back on something but but they can't it's push not back a real other, transgression yeah, yeah. 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 And I, that's why I think that s influencers and celebrities right now are super out of touch with what's actually provocative art. Oh yeah, they well they they they, that's, they love the idea of being the provocateur, but don't actually want to do anything that you don't want to do the work of being hated for provoking yeah. people's sensibilities. It's, it's what I hate about Hollywood the most is like the it's like we're pushing boundaries. I'm like, no, you're not. Uh, yeah. you're, you're not actually you're, you're not you're not actually speaking to, like when they talk about speaking truth to power I literally get a migraine from rolling my eyes yeah my and eyes I don't roll. even think I don't even idolize the whole idea of speaking truth to power and being against the system blah 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 because I'm I would prefer that system to whatever <laughs> the hell we have now like whatever Elvis was transgressing against that was valid like yes he was whatever that was I would prefer that to this. Yep. Yeah, so Jordan Peterson talks about how you need to strike that balance between being staying firmly rooted and also looking for new progress. We need to know, first of all, what we're progressing toward, and we need to know where our roots are. Like, we need to know why we believed what we did, because obviously it worked to some degree. Otherwise, we wouldn't have believed it, yep. right? 
So it says, why do we, uh, so this is one user wrote, why do you got to disrespect Christianity like that? A person wrote on Twitter, you don't disrespect any other religion, just Christianity. And why do you have to create it, Adidas? Not, to, not that I was ever a fan of Adidas or Addison Ray for that matter, but I'll never buy anything from Adidas. I will give Adidas the, uh, the benefit of the doubt here that most of the time when people are concerned trolling on Twitter, they weren't going to buy the product that you're complaining about anyways. True. That is, uh, that cannot be overlooked. So... Oh, we just got two super chats. In there. Oh um, my! Oh, thank I, you. I don't think voting with your dollar is a great option anymore. They don't care. The They're system's make too their embedded. Anyway. The system is too embedded. I disagree with both of you guys strongly. Did you guys not watch Tim Cast IRL last night? We had no, a guy who she, he, she's boycotting. Saying, she's saying boycotting, not voting positive, not paying positive. When you support small I've businesses that are on your side, yes, that's effective. Yeah, okay, good, when yeah. you boycott a mega corporation, I don't think it matters that they much. don't care yeah, that they, they lost your money. That's fine. That that's they probably fair. weren't even going to get anyways. Just, well, when you say voting with your dollars, I always think of like positively going to someone who doesn't hate your values. That's, instead of just not buying Yeah, Adidas. that's valid. I But I don't think that like boycotting ever is going to work. No, if it's a, co- a company as large as Adidas, as Adidas the, the, and a name as big as Addison Rae's, anything she does is massively popular. So what does Christianity do to, to, to um, regain some relevance in society, Mary? Ooh. Maybe grow back some teeth, yep. yeah. stand up for yourselves <laughs> yeah. instead of just being pushovers dude when we were in boston every church had a pride flag every church had black lives matter it's literally you think that you can like show enough subservience to be accepted but yeah. that's never gonna happen it's literally like that because they don't blood. believe in you to begin with it is like that yeah. is kind of weird like uh as somebody who's not religious it's like uh, pick me christians mm. yeah oh my god they're, they're they the tryhards by the culture but the whole point of the religion is that the culture is never going to pick you, and it says in the Bible you're going to be hated. Right, that's the point. They're the 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 sports watching girls of religions. The <laughs> the try me girl, the, exactly. The, the pick me girls. They're they're the yeah. Like, so oh that's how I think I'm we just, could improve. I'm just one of the boys, she said. And mm-hmm. the Christianity is like I'm just I'm one different. of the. I'm just not like other girls. Not like uh, not like other not like most girls. <laughs> not like Christ- other girls. Christianity should have a hashtag. Not like most religions. Ugh. Uh, another TikToker said, uh, in all seriousness, no one on Addison Ray's team was hm, like, hmm, maybe this will upset people, especially in today's world. Hire a new team. Mm. Why did they think this was a good idea? It's disrespectful. Yeah. But the reason they thought it was a good idea is because they know they can get away with They can it. get away with yeah. this. Uh, offending this one group of people. I think that's the most annoying part is the the part where they feel like they're pushing back against an authority that's not actually there. They don't really think that. I'm convinced they it's don't delusional. actually think that. Uh, and that's and that's pervasive in society. Like I said, I know a lot of normies who like they still think that the that like the, the Vatican is the one like running the world uh, in in America right now. Uh, and yeah. corporations <laughs> are far more powerful. Uh, and there's far less uh, approval of, of religion now than there ever has been in America, right? Like, yeah. yeah, I mean, as edgy as people feel wearing something like this, you're not actually doing anything subversive Thank or you. unexpected. Thank you. You're fitting exactly what you're expected to be. Yeah, it's boring. And as a consumer, you're serving the corporations the way they want to be served. Yep. The, uh, it, that, it really does feel like corporations, like people are, the biggest discrepancy that I see with a lot of people is the ones who are saying like how they're the, they're the resistance while wearing like literally all the, all their support, all every their, June, every, well, <laughs> not, but not just that in, with anything, with, with any aspect of society, yeah. they are parroting the same talking points as every major company, uh, that's on the fortune 500, every business that you frequent. Uh, but they're somehow the 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 resistance. I don't know if that's like because of mass media programming. Like it's just been drilled into them so much they don't even realize it's like a, a major multi billion dollar corporation that's feeding it to them. I have been so intrigued by how they've been able to corporatize everything. Mm-hmm. Like Rage Against the Machine is officially rage on behalf of the machine. All of these people we thought were edgy. Nah. Well, look at all the people that wear Nirvana okay. shirts and the, and the one and there's Cringe. the meme that says like I thought Nirvana it's free advertisement yeah. on the human body. Basically, yeah. they don't 
know any of the music or the history. Well, no, the, there's the, the memes. Is, I thought Nirvana was a brand. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it, right? is a, it is a brand now. It is now. It yeah, is. it literally like, is. You are not. It, it's It's got nothing to do with grunge. It's got nothing to do with the 90s. Thank it's got goodness. nothing to do with Kurt Cobain anymore. It's just Ooh. the brand and that logo. Yeah. DC just removed comics from its uh, from its name. It's just DC now. Do we oh, have nice. anything that is authentically transgressive in entertainment right now, or any anybody uh, other than maybe a few comedians? Uh, a few comedians, and even then, like you even can, then, it's like to, you're they not still actually... have to, to to even get seen. You have to be part of the machine. And a lot of, you could say like I guess like internet comedian, like somebody who uh, who does things digitally without <sighs> the you. without you the backing of uh, of a major corporation that just hasn't gotten kicked off. I consider Ryan Long to be a yeah, very, that's who uh, I thought of first. Ryan Long is great. Yeah. Like his his bit about. In fact, this is a great example. He has a a bit where he talks about. Um, left wing versus right wing sponsorships yeah and uh the right wing <laughs> so one's good. like patriot water yeah it's heavy handed it's patriot like, it dirt it and is. then the left wing one it's like it's like a, it's like it's a just co- water it's a communist <laughs> background it's like uh this episode is brought Sachs. to you by mcdonald's and <laughs> goldman sachs yeah, uh and then the right one's like oh, this is a this is a it's like religious dirt or that <laughs> should tell you that should tell you exactly who is actually being transgressive now is it the people who are backed by mcdonald's and coke and goldman sachs probably not it's probably the people advertising patriot dirt i'm just saying <laughs> I, I i laugh because i get so many ads for my patriot, patriot supply dirt, yeah. <laughs> uh and, and like like all these is like um ivory hecker the the journalist she, she does her stuff for for that and i'm just like you end up in like a like you kind of everybody ends up in their little marketing corner now yeah like where you're true. that's what you're going to get advertised on no, like i'm not getting anything from adidas and, well uh i might get some from adidas still but uh, or Reebok, I guess. But uh, like for the most part, I'm getting weird stuff yeah. from like uh, you know, get some noble gold investments. Yeah, <laughs> Speaking crypto. Of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, when corporations participate in or weigh in on social issues, um, a lot of people think that that is pandering to people to get more money Mm -hmm. you know to get their their wallets open Mm -hmm. but like you're actually giving people their opinions that they didn't have before they didn't know they wanted that yeah I, I, Your taste making. Eventually, one day we will have a, we will have sponsorships here. Like you know, you've made it when when and in a pop culture podcast when you advertise like Raycon headphones. Oh yeah. <laughs> or <laughs> or uh, what's like a here, Raid yeah. Shadow Legends? Yeah. The game. I don't know it's if we're gonna boy. go that mainstream. <laughs> no, I do that. <laughs> well, no. I mean, a lot of those podcasts that we that that I or the shows that I listen to on YouTube have, do those advertisements, and it's like you got to make your deal with the devil to. <laughs> I, I mean, it's not. It it depends. It's not the devil, you know. Yeah. But uh, Mary will be the one doing all our advertising because I don't have it in me to, to do Am it. I more convincing? You are more convincing. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said uh, people people are more... Tr- it's a proven fact that people trust attractive people more than that's they true. trust, yeah. right? That, that's, that's, that's true. That's like I said. Of course, you can lie with statistics all the time, but that's that feels like something that everyone knows is true. Well, yeah, they have proven that. They've yeah. actually done studies about so, that. So uh, if people are going to buy... The headphones they're going to buy them from Mary they're not going to buy them from me let's face it you so. look very knowledgeable I'll give you that you've got the glasses I, oh thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well if we ever have to if we ever have to sell like books or something I'll do there the advertising go. for okay. like, for the books because so, I don't read it's, oh, yeah, no. No, that's, uh, I, no that's and that's my line too because Hannah Claire's always like uh, books 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 I'm like books books <laughs> books whatever These, this chick over here with books, books are you kidding me <laughs> so uh, do you Ooh, thank thank you. you. Thank you. I you do want to know uh, <laughs> what does uh, Christianity do to become. N- now, I talked about getting back into power, I guess, kind of. I want to know how they become more relevant. I think the Babylon Bee is the best way forward yes. for satire. Satire. Yeah. And just, they, pe- they poke fun at themselves too. Yeah. They don't just poke fun. Like, they, they have very few where they have this real good ability to, like, just brush the edge of, of mean spirited. Yeah. Just Not quite. ever so slightly brush the edge, and I consider myself a fairly good gauge of that because I'm I probably have more. Yeah, uh, I I've seen interviews of the the guys at Babylon B, and they're genuinely just nice people yeah. that are funny. The, yeah. the, uh, they just like riffing with each other and they're sharing it. They're, they're kind of teasing each other. I enjoy their stuff where they talk about religion in their memes because I don't get it, but I know that they get it, and I'm like happy for them because I know <laughs> they get it. I'm like, oh, that is like anytime they have a, a meme involving a youth pastor. 
culture. I laugh because I just, <laughs> I, you know, because it's I, not part of your personal experience. I have. Well, I, I have. I went to communion. I, I got. I got communion, and um, my brother went to a, like a youth, uh, a religious youth group uh, when he was younger. But like religion was just one of those things that became spotty. Thank you. Ooh. That was a good one. Uh, <laughs> but but uh, I think that the Babylon Bee is the best path, f- path forward because whenever they try to imitate what Hollywood does, but in like a... I'm sorry. Christian rock music. Cringe. Awful. N- awful. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not bad. good. Like, it's awful. Anne Berlin is okay. I was okay with I Anne loved Berlin. I them. They weren't outspokenly Christian, though. Wait, they're Christian? They, I know, right? You know. What? Yes. Uh, I enjoyed so them. The, How about Flyleaf? Christian, is good. But yeah. even that's like a product of its time now. Like that's that's like yeah. listening to Evanescence now. It's Christian not metalcore had a big moment. <laughs> it had actually. a moment. I loved Skillet. Let's um, be real. Oh, I yeah, enjoyed them funny. thoroughly. I would rather listen to uh uh what's it? Hell to the Naw. No. Oh, by, gosh. Uh, Bishop Bullwinkle. <laughs> oh, no. Can I just say before we move on that I figured this out about food this week. I was like anything that's trying to be something else is going to suck. Just embrace what you are. If you're a bean burger, mm-hmm. be the best bean burger ever. Don't be fake meat. You're never going to be ground beef. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.